From the crushing, lightless abyss of the ocean trenches to the sun-dappled, complex canopy of ancient forests, our planet hosts an incredible array of life in its most extreme environments. While we often marvel at the large, charismatic creatures like whales and bears, these ecosystems are truly dominated and defined by their smallest inhabitants, insects and deep-sea arthropods. This exploration is a journey into the world of the miniature and the alien, where survival hinges on breathtaking adaptations. It is a tale of two vastly different worlds. Lizards are ectothermic, cold-blooded, meaning they rely on external heat sources to regulate their body temperature. The basilisk lizard, aka Jesus Christ lizard, can sprint across water surfaces using its rapid foot movements. Lizards have existed for over 200 million years, dating back to the time of dinosaurs. Adult walruses can weigh up to 1.5 tons, 3,000 pounds, and grow over 11 feet, 3.3 meters. Long males are much larger than females. Walruses have sensitive whiskers, vibrissa, up to 700 of them, used to detect food on the ocean floor. Walruses primarily eat benthic invertebrates, especially clams, snails, worms, and other seafloor creatures. Gorillas are part of the great ape family, along with humans, chimpanzees, and orangutans. Gorillas use tools, show emotions, and can learn sign language. For example, Coco, the gorilla. Gorillas mostly eat leaves, fruit, stems, and bamboo. Honeybees live in colonies with a complex social structure including a queen, worker bees, and drones. Honeybees perform a dance to communicate the location of flowers, water, or new nest sites. Honeybees are responsible for pollinating around one-third of the food we eat, including fruits, vegetables, and nuts. Whale sharks feed mainly on plankton, small fish, and krill, which they filter from the water using their wide mouths. Whale sharks have a distinctive pattern of white spots and stripes. On a dark background, each pattern is unique, like a fingerprint. Whale sharks are found in warm tropical oceans around the world, usually near the surface or mid-depths. Lions are carnivores and apex predators. They mainly eat large animals like zebras, wildebeest, and buffalo. Lions are classified as vulnerable by the IUCN due to habitat loss, human-wildlife conflict, and poaching. Lions are the only truly social cats. They live in groups called prides. A pride usually consists of related females. Spiders play a crucial role in controlling insect populations, making them important for ecological balance. Spiders inject digestive enzymes into their prey and suck up the liquefied insides. 
Most spiders are solitary and predatory, feeding mainly on insects. Spiders produce different types of silk for different purposes. Webs, egg sacs, wrapping prey, etc. Humpback whales are large baleen whales, growing up to 60 feet, 18 meters, long, and weighing up to 40 tons. Humpbacks are found in oceans worldwide, from the polar regions to the tropics, and migrate thousands of miles annually. Humpback whales migrate up to 16,000 miles, 25,000 kilometers, round trip every year the longest migration of any mammal. Humpbacks use a unique technique called bubble net feeding. Hamsters are solitary and may fight if housed together, while dwarf hamsters like Roborovskis can sometimes live in pairs or groups with care. Hamsters can suffer from heat stroke if it's too hot and can enter torpor, a temporary hibernation-like state, if it's too cold. Hamsters are notorious for escaping cages and hiding in small places due to their curious and adventurous nature. Frogs are found on every continent except Antarctica, in nearly every kind of environment from rainforests to deserts. Frog croaks are like nature's dating profiles. Some can be heard from miles away. Frogs in North America can survive being frozen solid during winter. Their bodies produce a natural antifreeze that protects their organs. Not all frogs lay eggs in water. Frogs are found on every continent except Antarctica. Sharks have skeletons made of cartilage, not bone. This makes them lighter and more flexible in the water. The sharks have special organs called ampullae of Lorenzini that let them sense electric fields, even the heartbeat of hidden prey. Sharks constantly lose and regrow teeth. Some species can produce up to 30,000 teeth in a lifetime. Sharks have skeletons made of cartilage, not bone. This makes them lighter and more flexible in the water. Horses can sleep while standing thanks to a special locking system in their legs, but they need to lie down for deep sleep. Horse's eyes are on the sides of its head, giving it a nearly 360 degrees view, except directly in front and behind. Horses can learn commands, recognize human emotions, and remember people for years. Horses naturally live in herds and form strong bonds with other horses and humans. They have excellent long term memory. Red imported fire ants are native to South America, but they have spread to the United States, Australia, China, and other countries. Red ants can sting repeatedly and inject venom that causes burning pain, itching, and pustules. Red ants have a caste system with queens, reproduction, workers, foraging, nest maintenance, and soldiers, defense.
Orcas are easily recognizable with their striking black and white coloration which helps with camouflage when hunting. Orcas have complex brains and exhibit behaviors like teaching, learning, cooperation, and problem solving. Orcas in marine parks have shown signs of stress and shortened lifespans. The Blackfish documentary brought widespread attention to this issue. Orcas are easily recognizable with their striking black and white coloration which helps with camouflage when hunting. Polar bears are the largest carnivores, meat eaters, on land. Adult males can weigh over 1,500 pounds, 680 kilograms. Polar bear fur looks white, but it's actually transparent. Their skin underneath is black, which helps absorb heat from the sun. Polar bear babies, called cubs, are born in snow dens during winter and are about the size of a guinea pig when born. Polar bears live only in the Arctic, not Antarctica. from the crushing, lightless abyss of the ocean trenches, united by the relentless and ingenious struggle for life. Venturing into the ocean's depths, we discover a realm where insects, as we know them, are absent. But their ecological counterparts, marine arthropods, thrive in astonishing forms. 